Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Salesperson. This is Rohit and today I'm going to show you the new features or either enhancement in Salesforce Inspector. That is Salesforce Inspector version 1.19 is live now. And if you want to learn something new, so please watch this video until end and please subscribe the channel and please turn on the bell icon for more updates. So I will show you the new feature regarding this Salesforce Inspector. And one by one, these all feature I will show you in this video and also I will show you the differences between the old version and new version stay with me and let's get started without any further delay so first of all let me open my org so I just open my org here this is the old one and this is the new one for example part so please observe first of all so here you can see the sales inspector icon so this is the old icon and new icon you can see this sales inspector this one so first or first difference here you can see this is the first difference between the icons and this is the new icon and with new feature right so let me show you with here so with the new version you can search and navigate to flow profiles and permission set from the shortcut tab so in new salesforce inspector you will be see another tab that is called shortcut tab under the shortcut tab you can search flows profile and permission set this is the very handy features and this is the game changer feature inside this Salesforce Inspector you know, ex extension, Google extension, right? And other improvements and bug fixes here. So inspect page, restyling UI improvements, red background for the power display and height tables border. Fix country code from local side key convention. Use custom shortcut and export query button. Add permission set group assignment button on the pop-up. So this kind of feature I will show you in this video. So here, just observe, we, we already discussed about the icon. So first of all, this is the, I, the old icon and this is the new icon for the Salesforce Inspector. Now let's move one by one feature about the Salesforce Inspector. So let me click on this icon here in the right panel. So just click on this one. So here you can see Salesforce Inspector, same thing. I can click new one. So now you can see the new one, right? So here, Please observe the background color. You can see the deep, you know, dark blue, but here you can see the white color. And same thing, you can see this icon here. And this is also, you can see this sales inspector. Also, you can recognize like object tab user in the old version, but new version, you can see the three tab objects, users, and the shortcuts. And also, if you open any record, let's say, let me open first any record here in the new one and let me click on this icon and here please observe here you can see the search id prefix and object name same thing you can see here in this new one but here we have some limited uh, information about this current record right now you can see in my account record base like name is account label account and id is this but in this new version you can see like account label and id both are same but this is the new one that is called links fields record types and the object list so suppose you want to show the fields of this object you just click on these fields and it's open the new tab and uh, now you can see the fields of this object account object now you can see all fields regarding this object right same thing you can check the record types as well if you have a record type so you, the record type should be available here by default i don't have anything here the record type you can create new one and it's automatic showing here right so also you can see the object list just click on this one and now in the new tab you will be see the object list here so this is the list view of this account current uh, object so this is the new feature please observe this links so this is the new one okay now let me move in a new feature and new feature is user here so once you click on this user details so you can see right now my details like user username email profile role and language but in this new feature once you click on this user you can see different types of things here means it's having lots of feature so here like uh, ID in the previous release of this Salesforce Inspector, you cannot see any ID here, current logged in user ID. But in this new one, you can see the use, current logged in user ID, right? And also, 
you can see the language also be available here if uh, uh, we already assign some language so this automatic comes like uh, some you know like icon of the country automatically so and also you can see only one button here details but in new one you can see like details permission set permission set group okay so once you click on this permission set group it's automatic open a new tab here and under here if you have like permission set so it's automatic open that permission set here so now you can see the permission set piece here so you can assign this permission set for this user like this you can drag and drop like this left and uh, left to right or right to left based on your requirement you can do that right but uh, here you can see the permission set group just let me click on this permission set group and it's open me a new permission set group of this user okay so you can assign this permission if you have like permission set group for and you want to assign this permission permission set group for this user so you can assign easily so that is another feature here okay very useful okay I hope you got the answer about this you know new features here so this is like a two, a two tabs and here you can see the third tab that is called shortcut I will show you this shortcut here so suppose if you want to search any flow permission set permission set group inside the Salesforce so you can just simply search here and you can navigate that particular you know like uh, navigation so suppose let me click on this setup first of all and let me create some you know like flow permission set and you know like permission set group so just click on this setup here and uh, let me create flow here or you can create flow like this create and flow and now it's open me the flow builder is screen here and once you see this screen inside this flow builder you can create any kind of flow in your all like screen flow record trigger flow set deal trigger flow platform record and auto launch flow right so right now i'm choosing this screen flow template so just click on this screen flow and create a screen here and this is a screen first and under here i want to show like hello world under you know like uh, this like hello world or greeting you can give anything as you want let's say hello Salesforce inspector like inspector okay so now you can see the hello Salesforce inspector just click on this done and save this flow and this flow like let's say demo flow demo flow and click on the save button now you can see my flow is saved now and once you saved this flow you can search inside this you know like shortcut tab here in the hall also you can uh, see here this shortcut but uh, i want to create uh, you know like another permission set for you know searching purpose so you can search like permission here like permission permission set create any permission set as you have so let's say i want to create new one so just scroll right here close it and create new and this permission set let's say demo permission something like permission set right once you created any permission set let me click on this save button and you can assign this permission set to the user based on your requirement for now i'm not assigning any user so you can assign like let's say manage assignment and once you click on this manage assignment now add assignment click on this add assignment and uh, select the user so for now i'm um, a system administrator click on the next uh, click on the assign and now you can see one assignment was successful click on this done also you can create a permission set group so let's say i want to create a new permission set group here i can move permission set group let's say test permission set group and you can give any you know like description for this one so for now i'm just leave it behind here and once you created any permission set group you can assign like assign then add assignment 
you can select multiple user for this group let's say this one Johnny Smith and Roy Kma. just click on the next assign and just click on this done so once you done it now you have to search this uh, this permission set flow and permission set uh, group inside this shortcut so let me refresh it and once you refresh it now you will be see this kind of you know, new feature inside this new Salesforce inspector version so just click on this shortcut and just search like demo so once you search like demo so here you can see the demo flow so once you click on this demo flow it automatic open my you know like flow in the new tab and now you can see my flow here so I just created before two three minutes so now you can see this you know new flow here so you can easily navigate uh, that particular flow permission set and permission set group right so let me search the permission set so let's say demo permission so I already created this demo permission set so just click on this permission set now it's automatic open the new tab and it's open the permission set here I just created now before right demo permission set let me search like a permission set group so let's say test once you search like test and now you can see the permission set group so once you click on this one it's automatic open there to the permission set group here in the new tab now you can see the permission set group here it's open a uh, permission set group once you click on this zero permission set like say test PSG so PSG now you can see the test P PSG once you click on this link it's automatic open this permission set group so this is the new feature regarding this Salesforce inspector version 1.019 and also you can see this one 1.19 is also live and now let me show you the another data uh, this feature that is called query export and also you can see the different types of UI changed right so just let me open it here here once you click on this again and now you can see the data export right so once you click on this data export you can see the new version and new UI for the data export so once you click on this old one like this data export you can see the old UI of this you know sales inspector so for now you can see a different UI in the old version but in the new UI you can see a very neat and clean UI right user interface here you can see e and you can enter your query and you can run it so once you run it this run the export now you can see the different types of you know like the border is already removed from here and previously it was like this so once you export it now you can see the border out outside this you know like old one and once we open a new one you can see this kind of things also object suggestion field suggestion let's say i want to give another field here let's say uh, industry right so now you can see this is the industry means it's a pick list so that's why you can see three dotted line that uh, that is pick list here also like a rating so once you search the rating also is a pick list let me search like description so description is a tax area so now you can see the icon tax area so that is the new enhancement of this salesman inspector and also you can run your queries and export your query so this is another uh, option here like export query you can export it right also here you can see this uh, icon you can export it like this right and also you can see each and every you know UI here buttons everything is changed in this new uh, version also I will show you another one here that is called APIs and something like that so just go back here and once you go back here and open the Salesforce inspector here and uh, once you click on the Salesforce inspector you can see like import as well there are another UI here you can see for the import as well totally UI UI already changed right you can see each and every you know buttons and everything here field mapping everything like queue everything it's a new UI okay just go back here let me show you the another feature regarding this new version so data export data import also right so data you can see the new UI 
each and everything. Here you can see, right? This is a new UI. Also, let me show you the new one here. Like, uh, or limit also we changed. Like, new UI, right? So, once you click on these things, now you can see the new UI for this one, right? Also, let me show you the download metadata. So, you can download it. These are, previously you can see the same, no changes here, but uh, in the other option, you can see the enhancement of this Salesforce Inspector. And also, let me show you the another option. Once you click on this icon and export, explore API. So, once you click explore API, you can see this one. Same thing, previously you can see this one. But some, mo most of the changes inside this Salesforce Inspector, we can see under UI part. So, we can see most of the enhancement in the UI part and this links everything and shortcuts. This is the new shortcut button here. So guys, I hope you learned something new in this video. If you feel like this is a very more informative, please share, like, comment, and please turn on the bell icon for more updates. So you never be miss any kind of update from my side. So till then, bye bye, take care, see ya. Thank you for watching guys.